Liam, I guess uh, this game is an important game from Yeovil Tang's point of view, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think it's seven out of 12 games. I think we lost three in, I just said, I can't remember, drawn seven. Mm -hmm. I think we need some must win for us this uh, Saturday coming. So, yeah, three points is much needed. Yeah, and, and, the, and the run you're on in terms of wins as well, was it one win in the last 13? It, yeah. is, is that concerning within the, is that been spoken about? It has been spoken about, but then we've only lost three out of those 13 games as well. So we're yeah. still picking up points. It's not where we want to be, but we're still picking up points and we still, we, we're moving away from the relegation zone, which is better than last year, which we were just one point away. So, yeah, we're all lucky. We really, all really want the win. It's just, let's hope we can do it this Saturday. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of good teams in this division, isn't it? It's disrespectful to them to think you're going to rock up and take three points every week. Yeah, exactly. But then you can't write us out either because we've got a good, gr uh, good group of boys and I think once once we do get this win, it'll all change. You know, the mentality will change. The fans will get behind us a bit more as well. Um, and then I think a bit more. The pressure will it'll be still pressure, but the pressure will be a bit less to get those three points. Yeah. Do you look down the bottom of the table now? Are you looking over your shoulder rather than up, or are you not really too concerned about uh, sort of getting into a relegation battle at this stage? I think you've got to always look as well, though. Um, even though, like last time, I think I did the press. I said we we're looking up and not down, but you still you're still aware of how many points. I think it's nine points from relegation and nine points from playoffs. So, I think we've got to concentrate on just playing our game, get the win, and then you just move closer and you move closer to the playoffs and further away from relegations. Yeah, yeah. Notts County, a team below you, so it's incentive for you guys to move further away from them as well. Yeah, because we, I think we played uh, was it three teams we played below us, which we drew two and lost one. I think we it's got we got to win this one just to keep, uh, keep ourselves away from those lot. Yeah, it was the opening day, wasn't it? The last time that you played them in the league, so it's a lot of change really since since that game. Yeah, massive change. I think they went on a good run after us, and they went straight back down. So it's, it's, a, it's a weird game. Football is a mad game. It changes all the time, and I think we we being positive. We've got 14 games left, and we're just gonna give it all we got. Yeah, yeah. What do you expect from County? I mean, they've got some big. Big name players, and okay, they're towards the end of their careers now, and they're a big name manager for that matter as well. So, what are you expecting from them? Very experienced team. Um, yeah, they're big boys up front, so they're going to probably use the big boys. We've done our homework on them, uh, not to give too much away, but we've got a plan that we want to go ahead with, and hopefully, it's going to be a good plan and we're going to get the three points. Yeah, you could come up against one of your former teammates here in Tavon Campbell mm -hmm. if he plays. Is that something you, you relish those sort of opportunities? Yeah, so it's always nice to see them as well, isn't it? But, I know his game, he knows my game. If he comes on my side, then he just deal with it, isn't it? It's yeah. just one of those. Yeah, does it help when you know a player's game? Um, yes and no. Sometimes if you if you know they're good, they're really good at something, then you could worry about it, but then I think you've just got to concentrate on your own game, know what you are good at, and then that, that, that'll take care of itself. Yeah, obviously this, this club means a lot to you that you've been here a, a while now and in various different spells as well. So, I mean, how are you enjoying this particular spell? Yeah, it's, it's actually a lot better. I know uh, we've had a bit of a bad, not a bad run, but not the run we wanted to have. But the last uh, two times I came here, uh, I think we were in relegation battle, whereas we're out of there at the moment, we're nine points away. We're not safe, but we we got a good uh, edge above everyone else. And yeah, the good group of lads, more positive mm -hmm. this year, and it doesn't happen overnight. You know, it takes its time and. Once it does happen, then they're going to push on and do really well. Yeah, is it good when you've got other uh, players that you know from Swansea and so on as well? Is that a, is that a benefit? Yeah, well, obviously it was nice to have uh, Edgy here when uh, he was here because obviously we played the 21s together at Swans and I know his game, he knows my game. It was just easy to get, like, just play with. Uh, Owen is pretty much the same. Uh, hopefully when he gets his chance that so we can do what me and Edgy kind of done and then Hopefully, go from there. Yeah, and what have Swansea said to you about your loan spell? Are they in regular? Do you have re regular conversations with them? Uh, yeah, I get a text every week uh, of Alan Curtis, the loan manager. He's asked me how the game went, out, um, what I think, and things like that. But yeah, it's nice to know that they still keep in contact and you know, you're not out of the picture just yet. Yeah, and looking at the, the squad here with the number of loans that they have, I mean, you must be feeling pretty good because you've been pretty much an ever present uh, this season. That must be one of your aims here, coming to get regular game time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, obviously, um, for a personal point of view, it's just to get as many games as I can for my age to give you a better chance of whatever you want to do in the future. But also, it's nice to come here and try and get a team up the league because obviously it's a good club, it's good players, good staff, good, good manager, and 
it's just hopefully, hopefully we can get some positive out of this in the next couple of games. Yeah, because that's obviously key for confidence, isn't it? I mean, confidence obviously uh, is, is good for you guys moving forward and part of your development as well. If you've got uh, a good run going together, it's going to be great for confidence. Well. Yeah, definitely. As soon as you get that confidence, then you, you feel like you know only a beat. We're not saying we do feel like that now, mm -hmm. but like, you know, say like Doncaster, you know, they had a couple of chances and they put them away. And it is, at the moment, we get a couple of chances, we're not putting them away. But once we do stop them away, then the confidence is going to keep coming and you know you, your luck's going to go your way then. Yeah.